So Gordon Hayward has done it again, another big time contract. So Gordon Hayward got this big deal with the Boston Celtics a few years ago. He missed 111 games during his tenure with different injuries in Boston. Obviously missed the entire season in 2017 as he had that ugly injury to, to start the season against Cleveland. So, so Gordon Hayward gets another big bag. He's going to Charlotte this time around as he opted out of that 34 million player option with the Celtics. And I, and I have to apologize. So y'all know I'm a man of my word on this platform. I said, if Gordon knew what the heck he was doing, I'd apologize on here. I said, you opt out of that $34 million player option with Boston. I think that's stupid. I, I called him an idiot, I believe. So I'm the idiot today. Uh, Gordon went and got the bag from Charlotte. He's going there on a four-year, $120 million deal to join Michael Jordan's Hornets. They obviously just drafted LaMelo Ball uh, with the number three pick in the draft. I, I, I don't get this one, man. I, I, I don't get it. I'm sorry. I, I don't get it. You know, and, you know, shooting is at a premium at this league. We've seen guys like Joe Harris go get a bag. Davis Bertans go get a bag. I get it. But, man, $30 million a year for a guy that, again, he's missed 111 in games since 2017. He has not been available for Boston more times than not. As a matter of fact, he wasn't even available for them this postseason run for the bulk of it. I mean, heck, the dude barely was at... He almost missed the end of that Boston postseason run because of the birth of his child. I commend that brother on stand because of that. But still, I, I, I don't see it, man. Has he earned a $30 million a year contract? I know what the Celtics think he can do, but has he earned that? I, 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 coming off of that big deal, how does Gordon Hayward now become a $250 million man? You know, I, I, I don't get it, man. I, I, that's, that's too much money, man. And Michael Jordan has made... Look, man, and I want to go even further in this one, right? I... This one really bothers me, not because of Michael Jordan just paying Gordon Hayward, but it's, it was so much controversy made over Michael Jordan's decision to, to let Kimba Walker walk. And you know what? Kimba wasn't great for Boston this year. He wasn't great. Especially in the playoffs, he struggled. I think he was dealing with some injuries. But, you know, I, and I was one of the guys that said, you know, Michael Jordan maybe made the right move. He didn't think, he didn't think Kimba Walker was that guy. He didn't want to pay Kimba Walker max money, 200 some million dollars. But instead of paying Kimba, you let him walk an all-star in our league, which Gordon Hayward has not been uh, in the last few years. You, you don't pay Kimba. You let him walk. You flip him out with Terry Rozier. I understand it. You, you, you're getting the most bang for your buck. He hasn't been good, by the way. Actually, Devontae Graham has been a lot better than Rozier. Okay, you got Devontae Graham. You draft LaMelo Ball. You're trying to put some butts in the seats. You think Gordon Hayward's going to do it? You swapped out Gordon Hayward for Kimba? You, 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 like, like you, you'd be better off taking Kemba. You'd be better off with Kemba. And he'll, he'll bring more fans out. Gordon ain't going to bring any fans out. That's if he's even at the games, as much as his behind stays injured. Four years, $120 million, Mike? For Gordon? That, that, that ain't it, man. And what baffles me, you're looking up and down that, that, that Charlotte roster. Michael Jordan has a habit of signing... Guys who I know for a fact, if he were a player, he would have hated to play with. Nicholas Batum, $27 million this year. They're, speaking of Nicholas, they're going to wave and stretch his contract. That'll help them bring in Gordon Hayward, right? And they got a little bit of cap room left over, but just the premise of who these guys have paid versus who these guys have not paid, you're not going to pay. You, 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 you didn't pay Kemba. You paid Nicholas Batum. You know, you, you, you put. What are you doing, man? What are you, what are you doing in Charlotte? I'm just confused by the decisions that, 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 that you know, they paid, what did they pay? Cody Zeller? They paid Zeller Batum. They paid uh, now Hayward. Rosier a decent amount. I, I, I don't get it, man. I wouldn't have paid any of those guys the money that they did. I, I don't get it, Mike. I'm sorry. You're the greatest of all time to me, but you might be the woke, the worst of all time when it comes to this executive side. And whoever you're hiring, they're not doing a good job. Nobody's doing a good job in Charlotte. You guys suck. That, that's bad, man. And that, that Hornets fan base, they deserve better. Y'all complain about them not supporting y'all at the games. Look at the product that y'all giving them. Look at the product. 